It's your lucky day, Friday the 13th, and it's gonna be full of your favorite thing. I didn't even know. Tech nudes. Oh. oh yeah, baby. Hey, no, stop. Oh, yeah. Stop on it. Apple remembered yesterday that their computers are occasionally used by real professionals and refreshed their MacBook Pro lineup with 8th gen processors, including up to a 6 core Core i9 or Core i7 CPU. You can also now add a 4 terabyte SSD, up to 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Oh, it turns out that is possible if you put a little bit bigger battery in it, and a Radeon 560X if you want to max out uh, your build at 6,700 US dollars, that is. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. The new models have a third generation butterfly keyboard that is quieter, but it still doesn't fix its affinity for getting dust and crap stuck under the keys if you crap on your keyboard. Mm. Although in fairness to Apple, any keyboard would probably break if you crapped on it. Apple also worked with Blackmagic to design an even fancier external GPU enclosure with an included Radeon 580 for $700. Apple's refresh could have been inspired by the fact that PC shipments actually increased this year, according to market analyst firms Gartner and IDC, with business and gaming machines leading the charge. It's great to see Apple still wanting to claim the top spot, even if they only get there through sheer expensiveness. Speaking of new Intel processors, the Xeon E family of CPUs were announced today, targeted at entry-level workstations and replacing the E3 V6 processors. The 10 new Coffee Lake-based chips from the four-core four-thread E2124 to the six-core 12-thread E2180G apparently sport a 1.36 time performance improvement over their predecessors. The reception right now seems to be one of mild confusion and annoyance, as the new chips aren't that much of an upgrade, they muddy the waters with a new naming scheme, and they're coming literally months after the desktop versions that are basically the same thing, not to mention that AMD has some pretty compelling alternatives. But hey, new processors, lots of cool numbers and tables to look at, that's exciting. And Magic Leap has announced their troubled augmented reality developer headset will begin shipping by September. They also showed off the hardware itself along with some videos of the headset supposedly in action. A demo showing a 3D character throwing objects at the user was pretty disappointing given the levels of hype that the Magic Leap 1 has garnered with uh, both consumers and the investors who have put a lot of money into this company. Also, the headset? does not look like anything you could wear as part of normal life. I mean, not that, I mean, I'm not judging what your life is. Maybe your life are. includes bad steampunk Whoa, cosplay, rude. which is fine. Oh, I can't believe it. I wish that was cool. Very rude. <laughs> it's time for super short info packs quickly. Brought to you today by Private Internet Access. PIA is an easy to use VPN solution that gives you real privacy, not fake privacy, like those frosted glass shower doors. I mean, seriously, people can just open them up and see you naked. I told you it was gonna be tech nudes today. PIA has servers in 28 countries to help you get around geo-blocking, multiple options for strong encryption to keep your data out of the hands of snoops, DNS leak protection to make sure your browsing history remains in your hands only, and even, really, a bear deterrent? <laughs> So for a secure browsing experience that works across a multitude of platforms, go check out PIA at the link below. Fujitsu wants to join Intel in making non-volatile RAM, so they're working with Dell, Cisco, and Kingston, that is quite the who's who list, on what they call NRAM, using the world's nerdiest material. That's right, baby, it's carbon nanotubes! Carbon nanotubes! Woo! Blackfly is the newest flying car prototype to grace the internet. It's being developed by a Californian company, Opener, and being tested in Canada. Well, oh, that's hopefully not around here. Uh, <clears throat> you'll apparently be able to fly it without a pilot's license, which of course we think is a fabulous idea. Watch out! New variants of the Spectre processor vulnerability have been found, dubbed Spectre 1.1 and 1.2. I love engineers. I Developers are working on mitigating possible damage. A new Chrome build will protect against attacks, but will use, and this is painful, 10% more RAM in the process. I mean, were they just gonna roll out this patch anyway? Are they just, bl are they just blaming the bug for this? Excuse. <laughs> 
This is Chrome. It's like a it's like a memory vampire. It thirsts. It thirsts for your megabytes. <laughs> it wears socks and sandals. It does not. Oh. So Chrome is not cool enough to wear socks and sandals. Oh. Want to play Pokemon Go but think it's a little too kitty? There's a new AR game on the block. The Walking Dead Our World has just launched, so you can bump into people on the street while you're both doing something that is way cooler. Speaking of cool, India, it's hot there. Uh, India has approved rules that completely ban any form of data blocking, throttling, and zero rating for most internet services after a net neutrality movement started in part by opposition to Facebook's free basics program, which only offered access to approved site. Nice job, India. Thank you. Teach us your ways. That is with respect to net neutrality, not necessarily WhatsApp mob murders. And the hashtag wholesome gaming PC giveaway has launched on the PC Master Race subreddit. All you have to do is enter to comment. No, all you have to do is comment to enter by posting with a story of when you were a wholesome gamer, which will probably lead to people lying about nice things they did, which is decidedly not wholesome. What the hell were they thinking? Oh, life is pain. Uh, okay, on that sunny note, this episode is now over, so listen to your feelings. Search them, if you, if you will. Like or dislike, subscribe to TechLink for tech news three times a week and the same amount of times a week that I show. I actually, oh. I do not shower three times a week. Oh, do you? I'm more of a bath with candlelight kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm not ashamed of that. You live your life, man. That's right.